Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate that. And this is going to be a love reading for the end of July for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So be mindful. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just stick with fits, leave the rest. All right, Libra, let's see what the messages are here for you for the last two weeks of July 2022. Okay. Ooh, I like you. Someone likes you, Libra. Romance is blooming. There's fun flirting. Someone wants to date or continue dating you. Let's see what else do you have here. Okay. Heart with a key. Oh my goodness. Welcoming love. Meeting the one. Opening your heart. Getting together. This is a perfect love. Beautiful. Perfect love. Let's see. One more. Do we dare? <laughs> Snake. Of course, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, looking over your shoulder. The other woman. <gasps> okay, or the other guy. All right, Libra. <laughs> you've got a beautiful love here with someone, and then you've got a jealous ex. Or there's somebody else who's, you know, envious, malicious. You need to keep your eye out for this person, interfering in a relationship, interfering in a love of romance okay you've met the person or you will be meeting the love of your life but they come with some baggage they come with some baggage all right libra let me get a couple of messages here let me do a little shuffle first yeah just keep your eyes peeled um i think somebody that you could be connecting with is like you are the one for them they know it but you just have to like, don't get into any fights with anybody, Libra. <laughs> okay, don't say anything. Just stay focused on the love. Just stay focused on building the relationship. All right, let me take a look. We're going to do a Celtic cross spread. Okay, past position. Oh, yeah. Yep, somebody made a love offer to you in the past, proposed. Um, this doesn't have to be marriage, but proposed. Um, there's someone that really offered their cup of love to you, basically, like came forward in the past. Maybe that's somebody that you're, you already know or you're currently connecting with at this time. Okay, you've got the Ten of Wands, though. You're really stressed. Okay, wow. What the heck? Hmm. <laughs> You've got karma. Hmm. Something about a connection here is, is like whew, exhausting. Um, is this you, Libra? Do you feel like stressed in a relationship right now? Uh, maybe because there was somebody else. Um, oh, okay, wait. This is a card of revelation. All right, so Libra, they're telling me that if you're connecting with somebody at this time, they're telling me you need to understand that whoever you're connecting with has no interest in this snake person that's envious or still trying to stay attached to your person, okay? Um, now, you might be completely single and not have anybody in your life, okay? So this could be a friendship type of situation. Um there could be some jealousy going on, not on your part, but from whoever is attached to your person. Um, it's it's really a, kind of a burden because you might feel to some degree that your partner is um, still attached to that person or your friend or whomever is like maybe there's like a game being played. I don't feel like there's a game being played. Um, it's a real heavy burden for you. Because you have a fear, you have a fear that, that your person is going to go to another woman or go to this other person, okay? Um, maybe they were involved with them before, okay? Um, I just, I just, I just am picking up this like exhaustion, like a, a betrayal. It's just... I feel like you're kind of in this place like if that other person would just disappear there's it's like a thorn in your side there's this feels like a thorn in your side that's how you're viewing it but it 
it, I, I don't, all right, so let me just move on and, and see what's going on. What's driving this reading? Yeah, look, oh wow, five of wands, 100%. Drama, chaos, conflict. You don't want this, but it's like you just want the love and to be happy and joyous and free with someone. But I feel like this, this uh, uh, the other woman is causing some problems. <clears throat> this is an enemy, okay? competing for um there's competition somebody's jealous what's crowning you okay huh six of pentacles okay um somebody has to stay attached to an ex because of children you know that <clears throat> you might know that okay or there's some type of maybe alimony or some type of support or there's still there's a connection your person has a connection to a past person but it comes with a lot of conflict, you know, um, and you've been carrying this heavy burden. Let me see something here. They're giving me a message. Hold on. You don't want any surprises. That's the thing. You, you seek very strong confirmation that your person um wants more with you than just romance you need to have more okay right now uh, i mean i feel like there is somebody here that you know this is the person for you um maybe you'll meet them or maybe you've recently met them or maybe you've known them um there's a, there's a struggle because there might be times when it, you come to a realization that maybe your person is very apathetic or seems indifferent to your love. And um, that's a heavy burden for you to carry as a Libra, of course, because you're the sign of partnership and romance. So that's a real struggle for you. All right. But there's this, you've got somebody here who definitely, you know, this is the one for you. And it's like a perfect love, but it comes with so much baggage and drama. Let's see what's coming towards you in the near future. All right, well, you've got the Ten of Cups, so this is good. This is like happiness, joy, fulfillment. This is family, okay? Possibly marriage. This is coming towards you. This is like, two, I see you two being together and in the near future, you know, celebrating with the kids. Maybe there's two daughters or three, perhaps, or two girls and a boy. They're celebrating. They're celebrating marriage, celebrating family, unity, community, uh, love, happiness, that rainbow. Happily ever after here. Okay. So I feel like it's just dealing with this baggage or this maybe this ex or the other woman or the other friend um it's a real problem okay maybe um for some of you this is a friend there's an attachment to work you have to work with this person or you and um your friend and somebody else you all work together and there's a lot of drama you just don't want there to be problems or drama let's see your advice okay five of pentacles hmm this is 100%. Break the bank and spend on yourself, Libra. Do a little um, retail therapy if you need to. You know, um, <laughs> I just feel like everything being external to you broke, busted, and disgusted except for you. You know, I, I just feel like also be careful, too, that you're not overspending too much on yourself and then there's like no money left in your bank account. Like you got to stay in a very stable. This is this is why I feel like there's another woman or guy in the picture who feels like they have to compete with you or they're competing with you because you show up like this, although they may not know that, you know, you're spending all your dollar dollar bills <laughs> on yourself and you know but i do kind of feel like this is you keeping yourself in your fancy threads and looking good and staying stable no matter how broke you might feel i see you taking care of yourself anyway 
uh, no matter how much money you have in have in your pocket taking care of yourself anyway uh, just don't t just leave a little bit left over for your for what everything else that you need to take care of let me see this person's external to you here okay this is not your lover oh no this is not your lover <laughs> this is not your friend this is the other person look at that abuse stalking spying um ugh. harshness oh my goodness saying nasty things there is oh my goodness there is look at this this person okay the other one the enemy malicious this person is like really really jealous really upset about what that you and your lover or person are going into something that you've both made a decision to be together that things like oh my goodness yeah this person's got the three of swords that just popped right out like they are absolutely heartbroken that whoever whoever you know your person was attached to them in some way friend lover family member whatever and they made a choice to be with you and this person is like whew, all that sword energy with the lovers mm -mm, this is nastiness okay your hopes and wishes here i see you two um going forward and really cementing your love together okay going from the knight of cups to the ten of cups i mean that's beautiful there's definitely a proposal and maybe there was a proposal that you received in the past from this person but i see you guys really coming in maybe you'll be moving in together um or really like forming this happy family thing towards the end like going into august it's very beautiful what is your hopes here okay knight of pentacles yeah you hope that this relationship or this thing will just stay steady and strong and keep moving forward this is your hopes and wishes okay i feel like listen this is always my thorn in the rose every rose has a thorn right and this is uh, this other person who is very jealous um or feel feels betrayed or th there's a divorce or separation or whatever they're going through it and and they're going to give some hell until they meet somebody else of course until they meet somebody else that's usually when that all stops but they ha they don't have anybody else <clears throat> maybe they have little kids or there's others you know whatever the connection is um you know or they don't have any other friends they're just isolated and they're pissed off it's really not your problem but your hope is that things will just keep moving steady the knight of pentacles is that's a long-term security card you know and that's st stability and then it will keep moving forward it doesn't have to move fast it just has to keep moving forward outcome okay nine of swords six of cups okay hmm interesting so i see a lot of anxiety and stress okay i do um but it, whenever i keep getting the sword energy i keep feeling it's this other person i don't feel like it's you okay um somebody's gonna have children to you two are maybe gonna have children together or there's going to be uh some type of oh okay they just said um so this person this jealous the snake person um they're gonna meet somebody they're gonna go back to someone else from their past an opportunity so this is a good thing i feel like you're not gonna have to stay in this energy with this thorn in your side um there somebody else an opportunity is going to come to them in their life okay um where they're going to be able to I feel like this mostly has to do with money and somebody's going to come into their life and pay for something or pay for their kids or do something it's weird and it's someone from their past yeah okay king of pentacles there's somebody else coming in for this person all right you listen Vir I almost said Virgo maybe it's a Virgo Taurus Capricorn for you Libra or maybe you're on the cusp of Virgo Libra for you like this is your happy ending here you know your reading stopped 
when we got to this position of the near future okay you and your person are going to be okay i feel like really the rest of this this and this here is really about this this snake other person somebody's going to come in and distract them and pull them away from the problems and then you guys are going to be you know happily ever after that's how i feel that's going to play out and it's it's a little crazy um but it just feels like it's not going to last forever. And I feel like I predicted that when I said as soon as they get somebody else and they get that distraction, they're going to be gone. You know, um, they have this snake other person has someone coming back into their life. It's either going to help them with their children, pay for things for them, take on the their burdens, relieve them of their anxiety and stress. And, and they're going to give up. They're going to give up on chasing the person that you are with. Um, or you are trying to interfere in the friendship or the connection or the you know, family situation. I just pick up a lot of jealousy. Let me see what your romance angels messages are here. Worth waiting for. Yeah, so divine timing is at work in your love life here, Libra. So I don't feel like you need to worry about anything. Just allow things to play out the way they're meant to with this connection, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Okay, present moment. So there's a lot of forgiveness that needs to happen here. I feel like this person whom you, you know, you're connected to does have a true heart for you. Truly do love you. Heart with a key, you know. Um, they want your love. They want to bring that love to you. But I feel like maybe you have to give them a little chance and maybe understand in some way that they've got someone. It's not just a burden on you. It's a burden on them. And they're not trying to go back. But if you get angry at them for things that somebody else is doing, um, maybe there's an energy there to take a look at that. And instead of pushing your partner away, if you find yourself, because this it's overwhelming, um, because they can't cut them out um, for some reason, if you rather than push him away team up team up trust them okay healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting here okay this person secretly longs and yearns for you okay trust it is safe to trust in this situation you got to trust them if you find that if you have a fear that they're going to go back to their person they won't if you, if you I don't mean you got to like serve them flame and yawn every single night but trust them just trust them and watch <laughs> what happens okay so yeah I like your reading I know it's a little stressful but you guys for the end of for August what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to do a daily collective love reading for everybody for all signs and I'm just going to do one every single day so you'll always have a reading every single day um and if it resonates for you great and if it doesn't then it doesn't but i hope that you'll check that out as we go forward all right libra uh i will see you in august take care